guys, hello everyone! During my today's class I'm gonna teach you how to paint lovely watercolor illustration of sushi in a Procreate. And for that I prepared for you a watercolor brush set where I added my own watercolor brushes and native Procreate brushes. I hope you will like that. Also I will teach you how to create texture paper and also guys I will teach you how to paint your own illustration from the sketch. That's so simple. So now I'm about to start our class. I just want to simply decorate it, add lovely illustrations and add some kind of final touch, some kind of Japanese touch to our lovely background. So yeah, we are ready. That's it. And once again, guys, where you can get all my freebies, uh, which includes watercolor paper, watercolor brush set, watercolor color palette, and sketch that I created. So let's get started. So first of all we need to open Procreate and we did that. After that we need to tap plus and tap plus again. Switch from pixels into inches like this and tap, tap 9 per 11 inches with 300 deeper resolution and maximum layers that we might have is 56. Let's create. Ta -da! Second thing, we're gonna create a couple of new layers and now we need to export our paper into the Procreate. So how to do that? So you need to go to downloads folder where you will find my paper in JPEG file and after that we need to export that in a Procreate. So that's our paper. So as you see it's very textured and I think this texture will be perfect for our sushi. So I'm gonna duplicate these two layers and after switch a blending mode to linear burn and color burn like this. After that I will duplicate linear burn mode and merge together. Duplicate color burn mode and merge that together. Next, I will lower the opacity of linear burn till 50% around. I won't do anything with color burn. I will select two layers and I will group them. Next, rename. Ta Second, you also need to rename this part and write paint here. Okay, done it. Delete, duplicate, duplicate, great. Now we need to export our sketch. Ta-da! We have our sketch, it's here. So cool. Uh, after that, pay attention, we need to paint on a layer that is underneath our sketch layer and our paper layer. We can lower the opacity of our sketch layer um, probably till 30% and you can lock it. In this way you will not paint on our layer with a sketch. So we will paint underneath. Speaking about uh, brushes, so what do we have? We have native Procreate brush Mercury for adding details, 6B pencil for creating sketch, also Terra layer brush which is great to add texture and this brush is great if you want to blend the colors. And after that you have four brushes that are created by me, Boo Base Color Sharp and Boo Regular Watercolor. Those brushes we will use as basic brushes for painting and also watercolor stamp 19 and watercolor stamp 46 we're gonna use to add some texture and watercolor uh, authentic touch. So, if you're ready, let's move to the next part where we're gonna add colors. So guys, let's gonna go and grab Boo Base Color Sharp. I think that would be perfect. And now I want to go and grab this uh, pretty grayish brown color, if we can say so. We are on a layer paint here. So let's start and add some colors. As you see, this 
brush is very realistic, it has some watercolor dry effects and at the same time it's very saturated. So when we turn off our sketching layer it should be very very beautiful. I'll show you. You can overlap, it's fine. Later we're gonna use just blending tool. So guys, I'm gonna speed up the video. Don't waste the time. And let's just fill all the area with this color. I'm going to use the same brush as an eraser, so if you have some parts where you have overlappings, just grab this brush as an eraser. How to do that? Just slow and tap, and you have the same brush as a painting brush as an eraser. So it's very convenient. Let's return and keep painting. Also, as you see, what is good about this, about this brush, because it can give you some color variations, which is cool. So how to do that? Just lift your Apple Pencil from the screen and paint again, and you will have different color variations, you see? The colors, are all of them are pretty brown, but they have slightly different shades, slightly different saturation. So, perfect. Now, I think I want to make it a little bit lighter. I think this color is too dark. So, in this way, go to Adjustments, Hue, Saturation and Brightness. And just make it lighter. Perfect, I like it. So, this wooden board will be the darkest part of our painting. Okay, we're gonna use Sterile Brush uh, as a blender. So, long tap. And we have Terralea brush here. Just change it. Just a little bit blend the parts that are overlapping. Be careful, don't go beyond the lines. And next, I'm gonna create one more layer. I want to paint everything on different layers. And now I want to go and grab this bluish color. I have same brush, blue base color sharp, and here we will paint some kind of a cloth. So as you see, I lift my Apple Pencil from the screen, and now the colors are a little bit different. That's so cool. Okay, great. Once again, I want to make it slightly lighter, just a tiny bit. And I want to desaturate it a little bit. Yeah, because I want to keep this Japanese style watercolor painting. Now blend the sharp lines, the parts where we have overlappings. And if you have different colors, just try to blend it one and another. Like that. Great. Now let's move on. And I'm going to create one more layer and I want to paint chopsticks. For chopsticks I will go and grab this pretty bright yellow color. Same brush, lowers the size. Maybe I don't want to have it that saturated, so I just lowered the opacity a little bit. So you see I lifted Apple Pencil. And now the color is slightly different. Blending tool and blend sharp lines. Okay, I won't change the layer. I will stick to that one. Now I want to paint bowl. And it will be pretty bright gray color. So, yep. Once again, when we use watercolor illustration, when we paint watercolor illustration in Japanese style, the illustration is not that colorful, so you just use the right colors, if you can say so, that are not that bright, but at the same time they are very harmonic. You can go and make it slightly lighter, just a little bit, like this. Once again, desaturate it. Yeah, perfect. Now let's move on and try to paint what we have inside of the bowl. We have noodles, meat, eggs, uh, mushrooms, cut, cutted mushrooms and some kind of leaf. Maybe cabbage. 
Yep. So for cabbage wheel crabs is pretty bright green color. Uh, once again guys I found the picture like for my reference on a website unsplash.com which is very convenient because all those pictures are for personal and commercial purposes. So you might go ahead and check it there. Yeah, if you want to paint some other pictures it's fine. Just find a picture, paint a sketch and after fill the sketch with some particular colors. Blending tool. So during the first part we're gonna just add some colors and after a second stage we're gonna add some shades and final details and that will be the end. Okay, like this. Now let's go and keep adding. Now I want to add some color to our egg. Now this is meat. So it's fried. That's why it will be pretty dark. Just show the main parts. Later we're gonna blend it. Like this. Good. <laughs> Don't forget about X. Uh, we're gonna use this white color. It's nearly white. As you might see, this part has a little bit color. Something between gray and white color. Like this. So don't leave some areas just empty. You need to fill it with some particular color. So let's go and grab slightly reddish color, create one more layer, and let's put this layer underneath. Maybe I want to make it slightly more reddish, because this is a sauce. And I think this will be kind of spicy. Okay, leave like this. Cue saturation and brightness. Then let's find the reddish color. Like this. Good. And like that. And I still stay on the same layer. And now I want to add some colors to our mushrooms. As we all know, our mushrooms will be kind of a little bit bluish. But. I still want to add some greenish shades to that. Not too green, of course. You might add different shades. Uh, there is no need to paint all of them. Just the most important mushrooms, like this. Maybe switch to bluish color. I just don't want to add too much blue. Okay, now what we should do, we're gonna go and create one more layer underneath. And I will go and grab dark blue color. Maybe dark gray. And we need to fill this area with this color, yeah. After the blending tool, we need to avoid contrasts. Okay, like that. If you want, you can play with the colors. Maybe make it more vibrant. Because this is grayish color, so it's difficult to make it. Like turn it some very opposite colors, like maybe bright blue color or bright red color. But just find some that might be very suitable. This is okay. You might make it darker. You can see, make it lighter. I will make it slightly darker. Okay, let's return to our layer with meat and keep painting meat. Uh, grab this color. So just fill this area with two colors and later we're gonna add more shades. Now grab blending tool and blend yep, the parts that are very sharp. Let's try to make it like 
imitate like for example we just grab one color and added more water and after added just a tiny bit of shades to that now final touch almost final touch we need to add you see the same color like this one that we had let's return to the layer underneath maybe we need to make it slightly reddish and we need to show some kind of sauce okay a little bit of sauce in this area and after we're gonna add noodles create one more layer and let's go and decide i want to grab this pretty bright color looks like chopsticks that's actually noodles sometimes you might leave some white caps it's fine and i forgot about one part in this area we have uh cut it onion so this is onion we're gonna add it later so imitates the way how noodles are spreading like this like a wavy snake And now we're gonna go and grab this bright green color. Let's return to the layer that is above and try to paint onion. Some kind of onion reeds. Okay, like that. Let's return to our yellowish color and add more colors. And also let's return back and I want to go and grab pretty bright green color and I want to add two colors to our onion not everywhere okay perfect let's move to the next part where we're gonna add more shades so let's switch from um, Boo Base color sharp to Boo regular watercolor and for that we need we're gonna paint on the same layer it's fine and I just want to keep adding some shades and how to do that first of all we need to remove the transparency if we want to add more color variations I'll merge it together like this and I like that and I'm gonna merge noodles together so we merge some layers now we're gonna go to uh, our wooden board, duplicate the layer, go to lower layer, go and grab adjustments, hue saturation, brightness and lower and increase the my brightness to maximum, duplicate, merge together. The same with this part, go to lower layer, hue saturation, brightness, maximum, merge together. Same here, wow this is so saturated, I like it. Go to lower layer, hue saturation and brightness merge together with our foot lower layer hue saturation and brightness once again why i did that because if you want to add more color variations and shades and if you want to do that in alpha lock what i'm gonna do now you need to make our layer not transparent but because the brush that we are using is watercolor brush it's semi-transparent so we duplicated the layers, merged it together, and we made our layers not transparent at all. So now let's use alpha lock. We're gonna go to our wooden board and we press alpha lock. So now we can just paint on our selected area. I will go and grab poor regular watercolor and let me think I'm gonna go and grab dark color like this. And now I want to add a little bit of shades so in areas where two objects are very close to each other we have shades like for example here and yeah grab blending tool terra layer brush increase the size and blend 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 okay cool now next step you're gonna go and turn off alpha lock turn on alpha lock on our clothes grab darker shade increase the opacity and around the plate we're gonna have some shades okay like that now chopsticks 
alpha log I want to add some shades to our egg to inner part and to noodles mm -hmm. now let's go to egg and area around egg will be a little bit darker same with plate Okay, now let's go to the leaf and I'm gonna add more shades to this part let's go to mushrooms or oh, mushrooms not here they are on another layer also alpha lock and add some shades here okay now we're gonna add some shades to the water with meat so area around some objects will be darker. Let's return to the meat. Grab dark brown color. After the blending tool, blend, 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 blend. Okay, perfect. Now it's time to add final details and that will be the end. And create one more layer on the top of everything. Now go and grab mercury brush. Like this. And I'm gonna go and switch blending mode to multiply. That's important, don't forget. Later, if you don't like something, you will just uh, lower the opacity because you see this is too dark too dark because when you use blend in layer mode it gives you very saturated color same as onion like this here we're gonna show the noodles once again don't add too much details Remember that it's like watercolor paint and so it should have some uh, atmosphere. Okay, keep like that. Gray color. You're gonna show egg. Too sharp. Okay, now let's go and show plate. And mushrooms. <laughs> let's not forget about it. Uh, let me think. Yep, let's move here. Down like this. Ta -da! Okay, I think we emphasize the main part. And now let's go to our chopsticks. Grab brownish color. Now let's go and go and add some color to the clothes. And here. Now let's it's time to turn off our sketching layer and I'm going to go and lower the opacity. And now I want to add some stamp brushes. So let's going to go and grab watercolor stamp 46. And I will create one more layer. No, I will merge together these two layers and I'll create one more layer on the top and I will clip it and move to multiply. And I want to add some very lovely stem and lower the opacity. I want to be very careful and I don't want to add too much of the stems. Same here, looks wonderful. And same, maybe Maybe here, yeah. Merge together if you don't like some parts. And let's gonna go and grab our stamp, switch to watercolor stamp 19. Yeah, and you see I like how one color bleeds in another. 
your the stamp is pretty light and you might just add it all around the stamp is very lovely and we're gonna do same with the rest I'll merge together our sushi create one more layer clip it move to multiply grab reddish color yeah and you might add the colors the stem here and it looks even better and switch to reddish color and i want to add some color to meat i don't want to add it to our x so i'm gonna just erase it and yep that's pretty much it let's just select these stamps freehand select the stamps that are on x and after that go to adjustments hue saturation and brightness and make them not that saturated yeah like this so guys that was the end of our class now i hope you enjoyed our tutorial and you have everything to paint your own illustration without spending a penny on it so i wish you luck with your own illustration and i would be very thankful and happy if you tag me on instagram and i can give you my own feedback on your paintings and if you like my class if you want to see more please subscribe thumbs up and let's see each other in a new video bye bye